The state reported zero coronavirus deaths yesterday. That is the first time that's happened since last March. But public health officials are still pushing to get Texans vaccinated. There's a federal database tracking potential side effects. It's getting a lot of attention online. KXN's Avery Travis has a closer look at how it works. It's a database researchers have used for decades, tracking any concerning reactions to vaccines. Anyone can report their symptoms to the CDC's Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, and those reports are available to the public. But many of us just throw that, that piece of paper in the trash and, and uh, don't, don't ever think about it. But with a flood of entries on the COVID-19 vaccine, there's growing concern about how it may be used to fuel unverified claims about side effects and deaths. Worst case scenario is that there are people who want to fake data. But Marilyn Felkner, who's worked in public health surveillance for nearly two decades, says oftentimes people confuse coincidence with cause. On any given day, all of us probably have a headache at some point during the day. But if you have that headache the day after you took your vaccination, then you're likely to be more attuned to that. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't report any possible reactions. Self-reporting is often used to track things such as foodborne illness or infectious diseases. But Felkner notes it requires more investigation, including questions for the person reporting and background health information than health data reported by physicians. They want your feedback. They want these data to be as accurate as possible. Avery Travis, KXAN News. And the CDC features several disclaimers about how to use and not use the data on the VAERS website. If you'd like to submit a report, we have the link on how to do so on our website, kxan.com.